Hey, welcome back YouTubers. This will be another Toddy Walnuts collection overview video. Today I'm going to go over my entire media book and digibook collection. And there are over 100 titles in my collection and I'm going to go through all of them in one video. So this is going to be rather long. So if you want to pause it now, go get a snack, get a drink, and chill out. Let's go through the movies together. So I do have these alphabetized and I started with numbers. And the first one is 300, The Complete Experience. Very good movie. I really enjoyed it. Second one is called All About Eve, starring Betty Davis. The next one is All Quiet on the Western Front. This is the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy of the film. Next one is called A Muck Train, and this is a German import. This is the unrated edition. It was limited to 500 pieces, but they were not individually numbered. It is a Blu-ray DVD combo, and it is Region B, Region 2. And you can watch it in English dub or German. This is a pretty good little film. The next one is called Antichrist. This is not the Lars Van Trier Antichrist. This is the witchcraft satanic possession film from, I believe, the mid-70s. This is also a German import from a company called Classics Illusions. It is the Blu-ray DVD combo. The next one is a CD soundtrack. The main actors of the most violent season of Italian cinema. CD included with rare music from the movies. And this is an Italian import called Atori Amano Armada. And this was also put up by a company called Amarcord, where I got my Ennio Morricone CD soundtracks uh, in digibook form. And basically this is just a soundtrack of songs from the Eurocrime Polizio Tesci films, the Italian crime films. The next one is called Beautiful Day. This is uh, some Asian splatter exploitation. It's a Blu-ray DVD combo. It was limited to 999. I have number 783. It's region B and region 2. The next one is one of the favorites of my collection. I am not going to attempt to pronounce the German title, but this is Fulci's The Beyond. This is the Iben edition, and it looks and feels like a leather book. It's supposed to be the Book of the Dead. And it's number 1413 out of 2000. It's a two disc set. It comes with the Blu-ray and DVD. And this was put out in 2014 by XT Video, a very, very good company from Germany. The next one is called The Big Lebowski, and this movie has really grown on me over the years. John Goodman. Steve Buscemi is in here. And of course, Jeff Bridges. The next one is Blade Runner, the 30th anniversary edition. This says $34.99 on the sticker but I think I paid about 10 bucks for this at Barnes & Noble a couple of years ago and I think there's about three three or four different cuts of the film let's see here you get uh, it's three discs you get the final cut from 2007 you get a theatrical cut 82 international cut 82 director's cut 91 and then disc three has a ton of bonus features so you do get four cuts of the film plus a third or a yeah, third disc full of um, supplemental materials. Here is the original Blob from 1958 starring Steve McQueen. This is a nice German edition.
I really enjoy the film. It's a Blu-ray DVD combo. Here is Blomkamp Cubed. This has three of the Blomkamp films, District 9, Chappie, and Elysium. I got this really cheap too, secondhand. I think I paid about 10 bucks for that trilogy of films. The next one is Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway in Bonnie and Clyde. Very good film. Another one of my favorites, this is Bride of Reanimator. It has two Blu-rays and a DVD. You get two different cuts of the film, the R-rated and unrated. And those colors look really good together, the black and the green like that. This is from a company called Cape Light. And they also put out a lot of good stuff. The next one is called Burial Ground. Directed by Andrea Bianchi. A little zombie film from the late 70s, early 80s. Pretty good one, in my opinion. Another classic, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Next one is Fulci's Nightmare Concert, also known as Cat in the Brain. This was limited to 999 pieces. I got 320. One of Fulci's latest, later films in his career. This is Della Morte, Della More, also known as The Cemetery Man. This is a three disc ultimate edition. I got a very low number, number 29. And it was limited to 999. Very creepy film that deals with uh, the love of corpses. This is called Cemetery Without Crosses. This is like a little wooden box. They call it like a little coffin box. And this is a French Western film. It was also later put out by Arrow Video on Blu-ray. So that is the DVD edition of it. This was a fun little horror film, kind of a horror comedy called Charlie's Farm. This is also a German edition. They released 1,666. I got 321. Here is the original Clash of the Titans that had special effects by Ray Harryhausen. Very good film. Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange, the anniversary edition. Very nice. Steven Spielberg's The Color Purple, starring Oprah Winfrey. Very depressing film. Cujo. From a Stephen King adaptation. This was limited to 500. I have 279. The movie's okay. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo. It's It was okay. I mean, I, I think it was overrated. Here's a very good one called Deliverance. Here's some banjos playing. Here is Clint Eastwood in Dirty Harry. Very good film. Very good series. Excellent actor. Moving on now to shelf number two. We have Dr. Zhivago. Driving Miss Daisy. Excellent role by Morgan Freeman. Dr. Strange Love. How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. This is the 45th anniversary edition of it. Here is a James Dean film called East of Eden. One of three films that James Dean was in, in his short career. All-star cast here, Easy Rider. This is the 40th anniversary edition. Peter Fonda, Dennis Hopper, and Jack Nicholson. Very good film. Another classic from my childhood. This is E.T., Steven Spielberg. Here's another German edition. This is The Evil Dead 2. It comes in this kind of a puffy leather book. Very nice edition. It's a 32-page media book. It was put out by a company called Studio Canal in conjunction with Infinity Pictures. And this is a Blu-ray Blu DVD combo, Region B and Region 2. Very nice edition. The 
Another excellent film from 1987. This is Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket. Very good film. Some good one-liners in there. Here is the 150th commemorative Civil War edition of Gettysburg. This is the director's cut. Pretty good film. Here is Ghostbusters 1 and 2, both classics from my childhood, fun films. Here's another James Dean film. It's called Giant. Liz Taylor, Rock Hudson were also in the film. The next one is Gods and Generals, the extended director's cut. Very good film. Here is Goodfellas, in my opinion. The best movie ever made, my favorite. Here's another excellent movie. The Green Mile, another Stephen King adaptation. Very, very good film. Here's John Carpenter's Halloween. This was the 35th anniversary edition. It came out a few years ago. This is an Anchor Bay release of the film, and a lot of people were pretty disappointed in how thin the Digibook was, but it does come with some good special features. You get some audio commentaries, and you get on location 25 years later. I always enjoy watching those to see how things look now compared to then. You know, Here is uh, Carpenter's Halloween 2. This was a German import. This was limited to 2000. I got number 655. And to me, these two films are one long film. Part three went in a completely different direction. And then they went back to the Michael Myers character in part four and beyond. Here is William Shakespeare's Hamlet. Here's a German import of Hellraiser 4, Bloodline. This is from a company called 84 Entertainment, and they put out a lot of media books and hard boxes. This is the three disc limited edition. I got number 685 out of 9.99. And um, this one looks really good. Here is The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. This was a Walmart exclusive. Next one is a Christmas slasher. This is a two disc set called Holidays. Another German import. This was from a company called Distant Corners. I don't know a lot about the company, so I can't really speak on it. Here's Fulci's House by the Cemetery, DVD Blu-ray combo. This one was limited to 1,000. I got number 411, one of Fulci's best films. Here's a Giallo film called The House with the Laughing Windows. This is put out by 84 Entertainment in conjunction with CMV Laser Vision. This one is number 556 out of 777. Good little Giallo film. Classic Western called How the West Was Won. Very good film with an all-star cast. And this picture looks way better than the DVD did. This is a movie that I owned on VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray. And the DVD edition was really jacked up in the beginning of the film, and the color was terrible. But they really cleaned it up in this Blu-ray. The film is from 1962, and it has Lee J. Cobb, Henry Fonda, Carl Malden, Gregory Peck, George Pappard, Debbie Reynolds, James Stewart, Eli Wallach, John Wayne, Richard Widmark, Spencer Tracy. Uh, those are just some of the stars and then there's co-starring Walter Brennan etc Agnes Moorhead is in here very good film here's one that my daughters picked out a couple years ago this is called The Hunger Games Catching Fire this is a three disc blu-ray combo pack a Target exclusive and that was the end of shelf number two we still have two shelves to go plus a little stack that are on the bottom so moving right along, we have a Dario Argento film called Inferno. This is one that doesn't really get talked about very much, but this is a good one. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo put up by Cook Media, and it is Region B and Region 2. This is a really nice digi book. The next one is Jaws, another Spielberg classic. 
I enjoy Jaws, but it's I thought it always thought it was very overrated. It's kind of dull in a lot of spots in the film. Here is Al Jolson in The Jazz Singer. Three disc uh, special edition, plus it has an 88 page book. That is really incredible for a media or digi book. 88 pages. Usually they're anywhere from 20 to 30. This is a three disc set, so very nice edition. Next one is another German edition of Kingdom of Heaven. This is the director's cut. It has a lenticular plate on the front. And it is a comes with a 16-page booklet, a piece of the uh, Cenotype film cell, and it's a three-disc set. So this is a really nice edition. You get one Blu-ray and two DVDs. The next one is King Kong. This is the original from the 30s, 1933 to be exact, RKO Pictures. Very good film. It has been surpassed by a couple other big uh, Bigfoot. King Kong movies by now, in my opinion, but it's still a classic. It's not the best King Kong movie ever made. Next one is Jim Henson's Labyrinth, 30th anniversary edition. They also have a digi book for the 4K that was just put out recently. I think I will upgrade that. This is just the regular Blu-ray here. Next is Little Shop of Horrors, the director's cut. Very good film. And it has a newly restored 20-minute alternate ending that everybody was looking for when the DVD came out. Next one is a Jim Van Beber film called The Manson Family. This is a three-disc edition. And I thought this was a really good film that portrayed the Manson family in the 60s. Manson and his cult of wacko followers. This is the full uncut edition, and it is the Blu-ray DVD combo. Very good film. If you guys get a chance to pick that one up, check it out. Another good one. I really enjoyed this film, The Man Who Would Be King, starring Sean Connery and Michael Caine. Christopher Plummer is also in it. All-star cast. Fine British actors. Next one is Hexen, or Witchcraft Beyond the Ages. Um, Mark of the Devil. Udo Kier is in this film. This is uh, limited to 5,000. I got number 3,223. It is the Blu-ray DVD combo. And this is actually more of like a digi pack than it is a digi book, but I just kind of keep it in with my other stuff here. Keanu Reeves in The Matrix. Good little mind twist of a movie. We have Midnight Express, based on true events. Decent movie. The film is from 1978. And then a couple of the audio media books I have. The Morricone Western. There's some of the more popular or more famous tracks that he had in the Western films. And then these are all films. Or, uh, films. These are all songs that he won awards for over the years. Just a few because he's won so many awards. And then here is his Bossa Nova music. These are really nice additions. These were also put up by the company Amarcord. These were imported from Italy. Next one is a James Stewart film called Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. Classic film. Charles Lawton, Mutiny on the Bounty. Clark Gable. This was from the 30s, 1935. Comes with a bonus 32-page book with trivia photos and more. Excellent movie. Here is Natural Born Killers. Blu-ray. Good movie. Next one is we have a little visitor in here. She just got done drinking water, so she wants to come and wipe down my pants. <laughs> uh, the next one is Necromantic. This is the media book from Germany, limited to 1,000, but they are not individually numbered. But I know these sold out right away. And the next one is called The Neon Demon. 
This is a four disc media edition. You get a Blu-ray, two DVDs, and a CD for the soundtrack of the film. This was given to me as a gift by fellow YouTuber and friend and filmmaker, Jeff Wedding, put out by Cook Media. I'm gonna pause for a moment and take a drink. Today's beverage is sweet tea. If you guys have never tried this uh, pure leaf sweet tea, it's very, very good. I usually get the green tea, but I tried the sweet tea today. Here's the XT video release of the New York Ripper, another Fulci film, very good slasher. It's limited to 500. I got number 227. The thing about these media books is they're, they're very limited and they go so fast and they always hold their value or they go up in value. So these are always a good safe bet to pick up these media books and digi books. I happen to prefer media books over steel books. Always have. Here is uh, Night of the Living Dead and this is the 28 page book. It also has the um, documentary called Fan of the Dead. I don't know why I said it like that, but documentary Fan of the Dead. Here's a Hitchcock film called North by Northwest, starring Cary Grant, Eva St. Marie, and James Mason is in here. This is the 50th anniversary restoration, 136 minutes, and the film is from 1959. So that's been out for nine years already, that digibook. Here's my favorite Western of all time, Clint Eastwood in The Outlaw, Josie Wales. Clint wrote, directed, produced, and starred in the film. Next one is a Steve McQueen, Dustin Hoffman film called Papillon. Comes with a 32-page book with essays, trivia, and more. The Greatest Adventure of Escape. Very good film. The next one is the 40th anniversary of Patton, one of the best performances in film history by George C. Scott. The film is from 1970. Nice piece of American history there. General Patton. Here's another Dario Argento film. This is called Phenomena. This is the Uncut Collector's Edition, put out by XT Video. Okay, so that is the end of shelf three. We got one more shelf to go and a little pile at the bottom down here and we will call it a video. Uh, the next one here is The Psychic. This is another Fulci film. Three disc edition put out by 84 Entertainment and it was limited to 2000. I got number 1280. And the film is from 1977. Psychological horror. One of my favorite horror films of all time. A film by Stuart Gordon. A adaptation of H.P. Lovecraft's Reanimator. Look at that cover. That's beautiful. This one sold out right away as well. I don't know what it was limited to, but you get... It's three discs. You get two Blu-rays. And the Blu-rays are the unrated version and the integral version and then you get a DVD with the unrated and you get a bunch of special features and this was actually a 4k restoration of the film on blu-ray here's my favorite James Dean movie out of the three that he made and this is Rebel Without a Cause also had a young beautiful Natalie Wood there you can see her with James Dean Next one is called The Right Stuff, the 30th anniversary, comes with a 40 page book, it says an all star cast, and it does have some pretty good special features. Um, you have the biographical profile of John Glenn, American hero, the movie itself came out in 1983. About the American space program. Next one 
next one is kind of a cultish type film. Um, I never really got the hype of this movie, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's it was a decent watch, but I mean it it has a really huge following, kind of like the Grateful Dead had, and I never really cared much for the Grateful Dead's music. Um, the next one is called The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. This was a Target exclusive digibook. And the digibook is really nice because it has images from actual Time Life covers. And this is a two-disc set Blu-ray DVD combo, and I thought the movie was actually pretty good. One of the better um, horror films or suspense films, however you want to categorize it. Some people don't say that they don't think this is a horror film, but it does have horror elements in it. Uh, about the Seven Deadly Sins, called Seven, and rookie cop Brad Pitt and veteran uh, Morgan Freeman try to find out who is committing all these gruesome murders and uh, using different takes of the Seven Deadly Sins. You do get some pretty good special features, and this is a very, very good film. The seven deadly sins were gluttony, greed, sloth, wrath, pride, lust, and envy. And the killer uses each of the seven deadly sins when he um, kills his victims. The film came out in 1995 already. I can't believe it was that long ago. 23 years ago. No, is it? Yeah, 23 years. Possibly one of the best, if not the best movies ever made. This is another... Stephen King adaptation, The Shawshank Redemption, starring Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman, two of the best performances in cinema history. And um, this movie got a 10 out of 10 for me. It, already, it came out in 2001. If you haven't seen Shawshank Redemption, you got to do yourself a favor and check it out. Very, very good film. Here is a Western called uh, Soldier Blue. Two disc limited edition from 84 films. 84 Entertainment. The movie came out in 1970. And it was limited to 666. I got number 570. This next one I picked up at Walmart. It is a Walmart exclusive Blu ray DVD digital HD of Son of God. There's a film called Sorcerer, a William Friedkin film. And it was very good. Here's a Rutger Hauer film called Split Second, 84 Entertainment, two disc limited edition. Limited to 999, I got number 160 from sci-fi. Some horror elements to it. There's another Dario Argento. This one is called the Stendhal Syndrome, two disc limited edition from X-Rated Cult, another company in Germany. And there is his lovely daughter, Asia Argento, who starred in the film. It is a Blu-ray DVD combo, region B, region two. This one was put out in 2010 by X-Rated Cult. Here's another pairing of Paul Newman and Robert Redford in The Sting. Comes with a 46 page book. I call it the Collector Series. It has a Blu ray DVD and then some bonus features if you guys want to pause that if you're curious. Check that out. It does have a three part documentary of the film. Here is Suspiria, my favorite Argento film. This is the 84 Entertainment 2 Disc Limited Edition. It was limited to 500. I got number 229. And 84 Entertainment also put out these. This is a four disc set. Same movie, Suspiria. And this one was limited to. 4,350, 
and I got number 4212. I don't know why my camera's, my phone's not focusing right now. Maybe because it was so shiny on the cover, I don't know. The next one is the original movie Tales from the Crypt from the 70s, starring Peter Cushing. Joan Collins is also in here. And this is a horror anthology from 1972. And later, it actually ended up spawning a mini-series that was put out on HBO start called Tales from the Crypt. It was a fun little show. Robert De Niro classic, Taxi Driver, Martin Scorsese film. And again, this is not really a, technically, this is not a digibook, but it does kind of open like one, and I just keep it with my digibooks. This is all region. Very good film. This has now a 4K um, edition of the film. This is just the regular Blu-ray 1080p. Here's another Argento film called Tenebrae. Blu-ray DVD combo, limited edition. This one was limited to 2000. I got 1867. Very good film. This one is Trick or Treat, the three disc limited collector's edition. This is not the Trick or Treat starring Sam, the little lovable character. This is the one that stars, this is a Dino De Laurentiis film that stars um, Gene Simmons and Ozzy Osbourne. It doesn't star those guys, but they make uh, cameos in the film. This one is a, um, let me see, I think it has one Blu-ray and two DVDs. Actually, no, I take that back. It has a Blu-ray, DVD, and a CD soundtrack from the film. And this is kind of like a heavy metal type soundtrack, and the movie's very good. You guys wanna check that one out, Trick or Treat, if you wanna add that to your Halloween collection, Halloween films. The next one is the Tuskegee Airmen, starring Lawrence Fishburne. Based on the true story of the 332nd Fighter Squadron during World War II, the all-black squadron. Next one is a Clint Eastwood film. He produced, directed, and starred in Unforgiven from 1992. And this one, the best picture that year. All-star cast of Eastwood, Gene Hackman, Morgan Freeman, Richard Harris. Very, very good film. The next one is The Usual Suspects. Stephen Baldwin, Chaz Palminteri, Kevin Pollack, Kevin Spacey. Are you very young, Benicio Del Toro? And this won two Academy Awards in 1995. The next one is Violent the Movie, directed by Luigi Pastori. Um, this is limited to 999, and I just snuck in with 998. All region ABC. And it comes with a Blu ray DVD and a CD soundtrack from the film. Those are always kind of fun to get when you get all three like that. Nice little collector's pack. The next one is another Betty Davis and Joan Crawford film, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, the anniversary edition. The film is from 1962. And then they upgraded the print in 1990, it says. And then the package design was 2012. This came out with a uh, Blu-ray. Upgrade, I guess. Next one is a Ralph Bakshi film called Wizards, an animated, kind of a sword and sandal type film. I, I really enjoy it. I like Ralph Bakshi's style of animation. You get a 24-page collectible book, commentary by the director. 
you get a little uh, feature called the Wizard of Animation. And this is a really skinny, thin book. I wish it would have been a little bit thicker, but it's still a good book. Here's another Fulci film. This is the German title Voodoo, but it is also known as Zombie in the U.S. Zombie 2, uh, Zombie Flesh Eaters Overseas. And this was limited to 1500. I have number 812. It is the three disc set, a region B, region two. And let's see, you get one Blu-ray and two DVDs. The bonus DVDs has um, extras on it. So that was the end of shelf three, or actually shelf four we're on now. So. We just have this little bit at the bottom to go through. And the first one is a Diodato film called Cut and Run. And this is actually a small hard box. I just threw it in here with my Digibooks and Media Books. Another one of those kind of like the backwoods, inbred killers, mountain men type movies. That was cut and run. The next one is one I picked up at Target a few years ago. This is called a collectible video book. It's like a, it has like a hard cover for a book and then on the inside it just has photos. A 24 page booklet featuring original cartoons by creator Alex Raymond. And you get four DVDs. And you get uh Looks like about 40, 40 something episodes of the complete Flash Gordon. I'm trying to find a year to see. This was released in 2012, but I can't, re I'm trying to see. Okay, it looks like 1938 to 1940. This uh, serial was on TV. And the same day I picked that up, I picked up the Three Stooges collection, The Essential. I have several different collections of the Three Stooges. I actually have the complete box set on DVD, but I also have other little editions like this little collector's pieces. This was a Target exclusive. It has six DVDs, a 24 page book, and it has over 21 hours of biographical and rare photos. Over 21 hours of Stooge foolery. And there you can see some of their short films and their segments and cartoons are in here and commercials and all kinds of good stuff. And who doesn't like the Three Stooges? I mean, it's, that's some good fun there. Next one is another hard box. This is a big hard box of Chud and Chud 2, Bud the Chud. This was put up by a company called Electro City. I used to have a huge collection of hard boxes, but I have since sold quite a few of them. They do take up a lot of space, but they're really they're really nice to look at. They're about the size of a VHS, so they do take up quite a bit of space. And the last one in the collection, guys, is the West Side Story four disc set. Includes two Blu-rays, a newly digitally remastered DVD, and a tribute CD soundtrack from the film. Winner of 10 Academy Awards. This is the 50th anniversary edition box set. And this is all the stuff that comes inside of it. You get some kind of like poster art cards. You get a hardcover book, a little box set that houses the discs. So this is a really nice edition. I picked this up at Best Buy a couple years ago. It was really cheap for everything that you get. It was a, probably about 10 to 15 bucks. For something like this, that's a steal. I, I didn't even realize it was a limited edition up here at the top. 50,000, I got number... I mean, come on, is 50,000 really limited? I bet you there's still some of these on the shelves, and this was years ago. 50,000 is not limited. But I got number 25,639. So that was it, guys. Thank you for taking a little bit of time to go through my collection with me and hang out with me. It's always good to hear from you guys. If you want to leave a comment down below, I hope you're all well. Take care, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.